yes, this necklace right here, it has me and my sister on there. It was probably like four or five years ago when we took that picture. And I've been having this necklace ever, probably ever since she came up missing. I miss our talks. I was, <laughs> I was going to wait. But she was probably the first person to know my sexuality before really anybody. My sister was very, very supportive of my sexuality. She she was not the type of person that was going to judge. Like I said, she had my back. Aisha was like a humble person. She didn't like drama. She stayed to herself. She loved her cats and her dogs. She loved her animals. She loved just being her. If she wasn't her, then it was a problem. When Aisha danced, the, the room lit up. It was Aisha's world when she was dancing. She had the floor. It was nobody else's. It was her floor when she was dancing. When Aisha came up missing, it took a toll not only on the family, but it took a toll on moms. Like, it took, it took a real bad toll on her. A very, very bad toll on her. And it was nobody but the grace of God that got us through where we're at today. Shaquilla has been giving us the runaround for years. She made a post. She had said that she took a lot of the test, but then you didn't take a lot of the test, so I'm confused. The reason why I think Shaquilla had something to do with my sister's disappearance or either know something or know something or know somebody that has something to do with her disappearance is because for years, like I said, she's been giving us the runaround. It's always been, okay, well, I'm going to go do this. You never do it. Or either I'm going to go take a lot of the tests. You never do it. Let me just say this. I'm going to be clear. If, if I took somebody somewhere and I didn't bring them home, I need for my family to send me straight to jail. Facts. Shaquilla, this is what I need you to know. I honestly need for you to pass this test because my mind has not been set right. My mind has really been all over the place. But if you don't pass this test, it's going to be a problem, a very big problem. Uh, Chakes, what happened on November 4th? We get over there. I was the first person that got out the car. I was the first person that went up the stairs. I was the first person to know that her door was cracked open. So I eased on in there. And her house was ramshacked, but it looked staged. And when I say staged, because none of her personal belongings was took. So you yeah. think somebody staged it? So I feel like they were staged. Okay, five minutes later, Shaquilla pulled up. Her and a family member had pulled up. When she got up the stairs, my mother was telling her what was going on. The first thing she gets to doing is, my baby, oh, my baby gone. I mean, we ain't even crying. We ain't even crying yet, but you are already crying. Shaquilla goes on live and she says, well, we need some help. Okay, so she was asking for help to go to Strong. I have some family that's in Strong, Arkansas. That's not too far from El Dorado. That's like about 25, 34, you know, minutes away from El Dorado, Arkansas. That's just the country. And she goes on there, I need y'all to come out and help me look for this baby. Bring this baby home. EPD not doing anything. Come bring this baby home. You know, we good. Like, at this point, we still not thinking too much of it. Your uncle and Aunt, uh, what's her name, Shaquilla? Mm -hmm. They were the last ones to see her. Right. Let me... And they said they dropped her off at her apartment? And it was two different stories with that. We decided to go down to Strong because now it's rumors that my sister's body is in a shallow grave in a wooded area. When we get there, a detective pulled up. So when he gets there, we good. You know, we, we're ripping ahead to do the search. It's only like a handful of people. So before we can even get into the woods, hear me out. It's like, it, here's where the story gets crazy, right here. We hear a voice say, help me. Okay. So. That sound like your sister? In a way. So now our emotions is, is all over the place. So the detective is trying to get us to calm down. So he finally got us to shut up. He said, well, say it again. And so he said it again. He said, help me. I, he said it three times. So now he done took off into the woods. He done took off into the woods trying to find where this help me is coming from. Okay, so we got a, it's a big old search party now. They got the four wheelers back out. We got the side by sides. Got everybody, everybody is back out trying to help. Mind you, we're in strong Arkansas. So when Shaquille and Thugman pulled up, they go, and they, they, she, Shaquille, 
Oh, they ain't heard nothing. They ain't heard nothing. They just all cracked. They ain't heard nothing. They all, they, he's slow. She's slow. They ain't heard nothing. I know for a fact she's not here. Wait a minute. But they didn't find anything in those words. They didn't find anything. They didn't find so, anything. So, even though you heard something, you don't really know what it was. And let me just say this. They had, by this time, we're into it. Two suspects already. They had one that had went to jail, and then they was trying to get the other one, you know, but they were both consistent. Like, they, they even put, they put one of them in jail, but they didn't have a body or evidence, so they had to let you go. Right. So, and the other person, he was up there every other day. Okay, so they're going back to Thugaman and so Shaquille. So they did too have two suspects. But was your uncle and Shaquilla suspects also? The, you know, the if that was the last person that seen her, they were supposed to be the first people that was supposed to be looked at. Did Shaquilla skip town? In the middle of the investigation, they moved to Little Rock, Arkansas. That's two hours away. And then did something happen during a phone call with your uncle? So I ended up calling him. He was on his way back to El Dorado. I ended up calling him. And um, I said, um, hey. He said, what's up, nephew? And um, I said, I need you to do something for me. I need you to do something for me. If you say you love me the way you say you love me, I need you to do something for me. He said, well, anything for you, nephew. Anything, I got your back. Anything for you, nephew. I said, okay, bet. So I end up saying, okay, well, you promise you're not going to get mad? I'm not going to get mad. Come on, nephew. I got your back. What's going on? Talk to me. I said, well, I need you to go clear your name. He said, clear my name. I said, yeah, I need you to go clear your name. I need you to go get it out of the test. Because at this point, at my school, I'm getting bullied, and it's not even that I'm being bullied, but people are coming up to me and telling me that you killed my sister. They're coming up to me telling me that you killed my sister. You hanging out with somebody that killed your sister. And then it is and that you're weird. And then so it became a problem in, in my personal life. So, like, okay, now I need you to go clear your name. Show these people that you didn't do that. He went off. Immediately after I said that, he went straight off. I ain't going to, uh, all right, all right, I'm going to get a lot of tests. And when I'm going to get a lot of tests, don't ask for nothing, nothing, and this and that. I said, oh. I thought he just had your back and I'll do anything I for th you. I thought you just, I guess what I'm saying, look, but I didn't. So did he take one? The next morning we waited, you still didn't take one. What about Shaquilla? And you didn't take one either. But you got on Facebook a week after. And because like I said, we had been poking and poking and poking at each other on Facebook. So you got on you got on Facebook a week after, probably two weeks after, and uh, y'all wanna make all that noise. What y'all don't know is we went and took a lot of this and passed it. Girl, if I didn't call the detective, I said, so did they come up here? And he said out of his own mouth, no, they did not. That's false allegations. I said, okay, so you're lying. Why would you lie about something so serious as that to me? You either know something, you did something, or you had something to do with and it. you think your uncle was involved? Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. What I'm going to do is one. make it seem like I'm a monster. I just got one when question. When you know how much I cared so about why, Aisha why, and how much why, I cared about you, why, had your time why, to talk. Why? I'm talking now because I'm tired. So why No, we're not doing it. So what you're not going to do is make it seem like I wasn't there for you, nor I No, but you wasn't. But what you're not going to do is but also make it seem but like you wasn't. I, get your head out of What you been wrong, bro? Did you, you have something to do with my sister disappearing? Hell no. Yes, you did, no, though. I didn't. Why did it take you no, so I long? Didn't. Why did it take you so long? Why did it take y'all so, so long to come to help out the circumstance? Why? You act like y'all was out there searching and you was not Jacquez. You okay. were not stupid. Listen, I'm just gonna have to walk off the stage for a minute. Girl. What happened on November 4th? Julie? November 4th. November 3rd, to be exact, we first went to Houston to move some stuff out of my old apartment because I was getting ready to move back to Arkansas. We put the stuff in the storage and we came back to Arkansas. Dropped her off at home. I walked her in, me and Thugger Man, and I gave her some decoration and stuff. Just so to clear, you and the guy that you were with, the uh -huh. guy that he claims is, you know, says uncle, very influential person in his life. You dropped her off at an apartment, she was fine. At her Jimmy Gold building, because okay. it's not an apartment. Okay, so you were the last two to see her alone. Yes, sir. Okay. 
You ever hear from her again? No, sir. Never, no text, no phone call, no, no nothing. Sir. What do you think happened? I had the slightest idea. Okay. But I'm here today to figure it out and to clear my name because what nobody knows is I care about that child. I care about him. Okay. I know that's hard on him. Like, so you didn't have anything to do no. with her disappearance? No. What about I the wasn't guy? there. What about the guy you were with? The guy I was with, at that time, we dropped her off. Now, if he doubled back, I can't speak for that. Do you feel what I'm saying? But to so my do you knowledge, think, do you we dropped... you think that he did? Due to some other stuff that has come out after that that we can't speak about right now, I wouldn't put it past him. And you're no longer with him? No. Why, no. Are, why are you not with him anymore? I'm not with him because of a situation that went on. Okay. Okay. So, so now you're not with him. You know, he at one point tells um, Jaquez, hey, we took lie detector tests. That was a lie. No, he, yeah, he told him that, but I don't know. The police told us that we didn't need to take one because we were not suspects. We were yeah. never being classified. Were you ever a suspect? No, sir. Still not? Still not. Have you ever told the police about maybe your suspicions about him? I told the police what we, what I knew at that time. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't get where he's saying that we're a suspect at or where did he get that information from when they told us that her DNA was found in the trunk of a car of, of, a car of her ex-boyfriend that, that he had access to. It's the minions and blues clues out here trying to put so us in So you have in no it. idea what happened to no. her? No. Okay. Um, how long were you with the uncle? I was with him nine years total. And how many kids? I only have one child with him. What did you find out about your ex since this? My ex, I, I can't speak about that. You can't? Um, but, Accus yes, it was an accusation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. What do you think happened? Um, I think one of her boyfriends done it. You think what? One of the boyfriends done it. The one that the police said her DNA was found in the trunk. Like, that re that, like, but then they released him. No, there's no body. Only because there was no body. Right. So they gave him a bond. It's not like the guy is able to, like, if they find something. But you wouldn't be shocked if your ex was involved. No, I wouldn't. Come on now, Jack Wes, quit playing with me. That's a favorite little thing to do. Let's cut up short little temperature. Shoot, and I can see if the that. police said, hey, you're a suspect. We need you to come take a lot of tests. When I called the tech. He said there was no need for you to take one. So not make me, don't do that. So don't try to make me out to be like, I just didn't want to go take no lie detector test. So why would you go on Facebook and say that you took a lie detector test? I never said that. Okay, bro. Can, can we get the lie detector test? Please do. Come on, Please, do. Please do. Please uh, do. We asked you, were you involved in the disappearance of Aisha Jackson? You answered no. You told the truth. Do you know for sure who was involved in the disappearance of Aisha Jackson? You answered no, and you did not tell the truth. Like the the people are at the mayor's office talking to the mayor, saying that they he that he admitted that he essayed her, but What's it was essayed? sexually assaulted. Okay. But it was never like it, it was never ever said to me. Like it's just something that I found out recently. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if he did it. Well, it sounds like you know more than you're willing to let on. Oh. I know the person, unless it's your uncle. I'm just now That's finding this right. out. Okay. It's not like I hid it, though. Maybe I'm you not... know. Um, I would hope, like I said, when you go back, I have a past with drugs, and I'm clean now, but that's probably why I wasn't able to know back then. Um, but I know I don't know anything about this child. Well, I hope you help the police. I with you, help. you can get off my stage. Yeah. So hopefully this could be a road that leads to somewhere. I'm, I'm not sure, but hopefully it is. But I, I certainly hope that a day will come that your family has peace and that you know one way or another what happened to your sister. Good luck to you. Thank you so much.
Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.